Hello, my name is Jeff Holliday, and today we're going to be answering the question, what is Kekistan? For many people, Kekistan is a very confusing thing. Uh, something springing up out of nowhere on television and in articles, and everybody seems to have the same question of, what is Kekistan? And by and large, the people who enjoy Kekistan usually kind of snicker and laugh a little bit because it's kind of an inside joke. Sort of. Ish. It's an inside joke with open doors. But unfortunately, left unchecked, this meme has gotten a little out of hand. Out of hand and straight into the hands of the mainstream media, who then have decided to state what Kekistan is, even though they don't actually understand what it is. For that purpose, this video is being made, and hopefully this will clear up some of the confusion, and I can share with you the glory and beauty of the Kekistani culture. So, let's get started. Have you seen this news clip? This is the Kekistan flag. It's a fictional country. It's a symbol of white nationalism. These are groups that espouse, in many cases, violence and certainly white supremacism, uh, anti-Semitism, anti-gay, uh, anti-black, uh, anti-immigrant sentiments. Oh my, that does not sound very good at all. I mean, who would want to be part of this Kekistan thing? It sounds like they're the most vile people in the world. In, in fact, in fact, it wasn't there also another news article? Maybe it was, uh... It happened tonight around 7.30 when a man climbed the statue of John Breckenridge with the flag synonymous with the far-right movement. The flag the man is carrying in this picture is the flag of Keck. According to the Southern Poverty Law Center, Keck is a satirical religion white nationalists use to troll or provoke liberals and self-righteous conservatives. Well, gee, it seems like this Kekistan thing is all over the place. Where is it coming from? Who, who are these evil people? Well, a lot of this is because of confusion. This confusion comes from, well, people not really understanding what they're seeing. Here's an image of some KKK members at one of the rallies recently. Now, if you look at this picture, it seems pretty damning. Those people are throwing the Nazi salute. They're, they're KKK members. And that looks almost like a Kekistan flag. Problem, though, is that it's not a Kekistan flag. If you actually zoom in, or if you look at, say, for reference, well, it's actually a KKK flag. Well, that doesn't look very good. That doesn't look good at all. Why does a Kekistan flag look like the KKK flag? In fact, it also looks suspiciously like another flag. Don't worry, we'll get there. Then you have a couple of instances like uh, this one and uh, this one, where there are people at rallies and they seem to be on the side of white nationalists and they have Kekistan logos. Well, obviously that means Kekistan is part of white nationalism or is in some way about a, a hateful ideology, right? Actually, no, and it's honestly kind of hilarious how this got misinterpreted. Let me explain. Kekistan in its current form came about because one YouTuber by the name of Sargon of Akkad realized that there was a way to get a new ethnicity put into the census data for the UK. Because of that, he started thinking and just getting this idea that if he could make an ethnicity for what we like to call shit posters, or you might call them pranksters, then it would be an interesting way of trying to make a mockery out of identity politics. Well, identity politics? Well, what's wrong with identity politics? Well, everything. Everything's wrong with identity politics. Identity politics breaks down the individual and puts them into categories like white or black or Muslim or Christian. It, it dumbs down a conversation into basically the components of who a person is, but not who they are as a person. So one fateful night, a group of people, me included, got into a Skype call and we just started memeing our brains out. Where we started making hilarious little images here and there, all talking about this, this fabled land called Kekistan, full of an oppressed people that were constantly being subjugated by others, trying to spread this, this bizarre message that memes aren't free. Let me explain. During the US presidential election, you had moments like this. From Hillary Clinton's website, why is there a frog standing directly behind Trump? That's Pepe. He's a symbol associated with white supremacy. Wait, really? White supremacy? That's right. Please explain. Here's the short version. Pepe is a cartoon frog who began his internet life as an innocent meme enjoyed by teenagers and pop stars alike. But in recent months, Pepe has been almost entirely co-opted by the white supremacists who call themselves the alt-right. They've decided to take back Pepe by adding swastikas and other symbols of anti-Semitism and white supremacy. And then you had news clips like this. How Pepe the Frog went from harmless to hate symbol. And all of this was insane. Absolutely insane. Somehow, somehow, 
people had become convinced that a little cartoon frog was no longer just a cartoon frog, but he was now a symbol of hatred, all because a group that most people on the planet find disgusting were using a lot. But the thing is, everybody was using him, not just racists. And this got even more exacerbated with the inclusion of things like the OK sign, which was all a prank by an internet forum trying to see if they could convince the world that a simple hand gesture that we've been using for over a thousand years at least is somehow a symbol of white supremacy. And this is a fundamental disconnect between real life and the internet, because without the context, without being on the internet long enough, you don't really get those subtle nuances. It's really easy to get afraid of things on the internet when people get very hyperbolic and they go far off into left field talking about something. It doesn't necessarily mean it's evil, it just means you don't quite get it. Now, this wouldn't be a big deal, but the mainstream media exists to try and fill in the blanks in a specific way to try and tell you what things mean. And they got it wrong. Pepe is not a hate symbol. Neither is the OK sign, neither is a glass of milk, none of it is. They're memes. Pakistan exists as a parody of identity politics, and it's all centered around one basic idea. Meme freedom. Freedom of, of whatever it is you want to do. Make a funny image. You don't have to be judged on that image because one person decided that they would spout on national television that, well, that's a hate symbol. That's ridiculous. Memes are memes. Hate symbols are hate symbols. What is this even supposed to mean? But the true beauty of Kekistan is how it is the exact opposite of what most people will think it is if they don't understand it. Here's a good example. If you wanted to say, is Kekistan for white people? Maybe it's for black people? Maybe it's for whoever? I'd have to say, uh, neither. None. None of those. All ethnic Kekistani are green. You can't be a black supremacist and Kekistani. You cannot be a white supremacist and Kekistani. You can't be any of those things because all ethnic Kekistanis are green supremacists. See? It's like that. It's a parody. It's a parody to take the piss out of all of these things that are blown so out of proportion and used to try and hurt other people. These positions of ideology, which inherently in and of themselves are not beneficial to human beings. So instead, Kekistan is a place of freedom. Kekistan is an ideology of people who just simply want to have fun on the internet and not have to be controlled by identity politics. That's the point. Now, I remember I did say something about the weird part of the Kekistan flag. Well, here it is. This is the flag of Kekistan. Now, it might look familiar to you because it looks a lot like that. Spooky, right? It seems like that should be a pretty clear symbol that this is all about racism. No, not at all. It's actually very, very simple. You see, if you really don't like a certain group of people, one of the best things that you could possibly do to take the piss out of them is take an object that they hold very, very sacred, twist it around, and make it your own. Make it a mockery. How could you take the piss more out of neo-Nazis than taking their damn flag and turning it into something about meme freedom, which is an absolute condemnation of identity politics. And everything about white nationalism and ethnostates and neo-Nazis is identity politics. How is that hard? Now that might still bother you a little bit and I understand and that's why I'd also like to share with you some other flags of Kekistan that other people have made. For instance, over here we have the communist flag in Kekistan colors. Then we have one from North Korea. Oh, and it gets even better. Just to show that we're inclusive and we're not anti-LGBT, anti-gay, whatever, we even have the addition of the new colors from the rainbow flag. And just so we're clear, we don't hate the Jews. But this brings me to one of the funniest points about this whole situation. Kekistan in its current form, as it was created that night, was done by a very small group of people. Those included were myself, Sargon of Akkad, Nick, Habib, and Louis. Now, that doesn't really look like a white nationalist meeting. Not really. So you have me from a multiracial family, you have Sargon who has black ancestry, you have Nick who's a Jew, you have Habib who is Middle Eastern, and then you have Louis, well, yeah, Louis is pretty white. Basically, we're a big mixed bag of people that the white nationalists and the ethnostaters absolutely despise. Can't stand us. And so that's why when you see some of these images, like this one,
or a picture like this. You don't have to automatically assume that Kekistan is somehow part of this group. Instead, think about it like they're actually holding this. Yeah, it's like that. Okay, so this is important. Right now, as how Kekistan is being uh, portrayed in the mainstream media, I have no choice but to say I fully believe that the mainstream media is empowering white nationalism and other forms of racialized discrimination. Yeah, I really believe that. I absolutely do. What more kind of conclusion can I come to when they don't even try to learn about an internet meme that is intentionally designed to be the counter to the very thing that they say they dislike, yet will then throw all of those people in with the group that they don't like. How can you do that? How can you be so irresponsible? Now, of course, I don't expect the media to be very responsible. They've shown that they're not very trustworthy, but that's no excuse. That is no excuse. Do you understand what you're doing when you make videos like this, MSNBC? Stuff is important because this is not general, uh, here's what we think about the world. These are groups that espouse, in many cases, violence and certainly white supremacism, uh, anti-Semitism, anti-gay, uh, anti-black, uh, anti-immigrant sentiments. So if you see these flags in your neighborhoods, this is something to think about. You are saying anybody who has ever represented Kekistan is somehow this evil, evil, maniacal person. And that's just not true. The vast majority of people who use Kekistan hashtags and make Kekistan memes are wonderful, loving people who have not a hateful, racist bone in their body. But you don't know that because you don't look at it. You see one, two, maybe three instances of possibly troubling, triggering little things. Well, I gotta tell you, there's something else you see a lot of times in these white nationalist rallies, probably more often than you see Kekistan. You'll see American flags. Does that mean America is now nothing but white supremacists? If you are American or you ever liked the American flag, you're a white supremacist? No, of course it isn't. So because the mainstream media has been so arrogant as to make this broad sweeping condemnation, I'd like to introduce you to the Kekistani people. You see, before I made this video, I put out a call and I wanted to ask anybody out there who hated the fact that they were so poorly portrayed by the mainstream media and if they wanted to have their voices heard to say that we are not a hateful people, we are not racist, we're not anti-LGBT, we're not anti-gay, we're not anti-black, we're very accepting and wonderful people then please help me and tell the world who you are. I am Kekistan. I'm Brockus, and I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am a pure Kekistani. You can tell by my wooly hair that I have 100% Kekistani genes in my blood. I am Kekistan. 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 We are Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I'm Kekistan. I am 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 Kekistan, motherfuckers. I am Kekistan. 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 I'm Kekistan. Kekistan is about the sovereignty of the individual. And I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. Anitzioni v'ani Kekistan. Main Kekistan hu. Soy Kekistan. Ana Kekistanium. Badegiv Kekistan. I'm Kekistan. I am Kekistan.
I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. Kekistan? Foggy is Kekistan. I am Kekistan. We are Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. And shut away, my brothers. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. Whatever. Kekistan Jinda. I am Kekistan. 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 I am Kekistani because it's better than being a paranoid, censorious normie. I'm Kekistan. I am 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 Kekistan. Seriously, it's just a parody. I am Kekistan. I am Kekistan. He is Kekistan. We are Kekistan. We are Kekistan. We are not racist. We are not anti-gay. We're not anti-anything except for anti-identity politics that tell us how we can't meme freely. That's the whole point. It's about freedom and it's about expression. That's all it's ever been about. It's very, very simple. But there's one last thing I'd like to add before we go. The message of Kekistan is extremely important. Meme freedom, the ability to express yourself without fear, without condemnation, without having to be impacted by identity politics on what you can say or what you can't say. That is important. But Kekistan should never be taken that seriously because we don't take it that seriously. It's the message, not the meme. Alright, well that's the end of the video, and I wanted to add this little bit in at the end to let you know that this video is absolutely free to be mirrored as much as you want. You don't have to link me back if you forget. It's okay. It'd be nice if you did. Um, the Take this video. Take the title. What is Kekistan? Put it everywhere. Put it on every video platform you could possibly think of. Share it, please, by all means. Because the simple fact of the matter is, we cannot rely on the media to be able to portray what Kekistan actually is. So, instead, we have to make it so when somebody Googles, what is Kekistan, they know the truth.